So we got Anna Nicole Smith out here. She's got a full camera crew with her. And uh, we just check with Gary, and they're not going to be allowed to shoot in here. So we're going to tell them that they can't shoot. Can I talk to you for one second? Yeah. Okay, so uh, I just spoke with Gary, and we can't let the camera crew in. Into the green room, you let the camera crew in? No, we can't. Why? You did last time. Well, they don't want to let them shoot in there. Why? You have to Give us a reason. You have to okay. Gary Get Gary here then. Okay. No problem. Where's my buddy Howard K? Hey, Gary. Where's my buddy Howard K? How you doing? So what's up? Last time we were allowed in the I know, green but room. What's the deal? Like, you know what? Now it's CBS. Don Buckwall. No, it's CBS. It's CBS. Deal. Yes, it is. What the hell does CBS have to do with this? They own show? this place. They own this building. They own this company. They own this studio. They don't. They. It's what, up they to them. What they policy like in the last eight months? Pretty much, yeah. They don't. We don't let any crews up anymore. But come on, I mean, this is E footage. Wait, E is sanctioned by CBS. It's the rules. It's okay, what it is. Okay, E is sanctioned by CBS. So e what's wrong? Henry Howard. Henry, come on, Gary. I mean, what? There's no in come the on. Green room? There's in no. The green room? There, I, 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 there's no come on. We shit. had this conversation on I the phone. I talked to Don Buckwell. Don and what did Don say? He was like, "Well, I'm not at liberty to disclose." Or actually, he said, "I don't feel the need to tell you our it's, reasons." It's, it's, it's not a conversation. It it's, not, it's not for and me to say. He's not with CBS. It's not for me to. He's Howard's agent. What are you arguing something with me that I have no control over? You know what I mean? I we think have Howard has of... control over it. That's well, th that's what you think, but that's not the case. I'm telling you that's not the case. It's, look, I mean, with all the stuff that's going on with the FCC and... The answer's no. The answer's, an, an, the answer's an emphatic no. I cannot let you in. It's not my rule. It's not Howard's rule. It's the rules of CBS. I would get fired if I let you guys in with a crew. It's as simple as that. Hi, Anna. How are you? You look great. I, just, I, don't, have, I don't have control over it. <coughs> I mean, it's not up is to me. Is there somebody from CBS we can talk to? No, it's, it's, not, it's not a discussion. It's not a democracy. The answer is no to every crew that comes in, not just you, everyone. Well, then why can't we hear it from CBS? Because there's nobody... I wanted to hear it from CBS before, but you gave me Don Buckwald's name. Howard. Come on, Gary. Come on. Come, I don't the, believe it. It's that. not a come on. I don't believe that, well, then like, don't in believe the last me. eight months has happened. Then don't, that, you cannot believe me. I'm not, I'm not here for you to believe me. I'm telling you what, the, what it is, and this is what I am allowed to do. Okay, so why don't we just wait over here until until Howard's ready? I don't understand what you mean. We don't need to go in the green room. We'll stay okay, here that's until fine. Howard's ready. That'd be fine. I'll come out and get you guys. Okay. Is it going to be like an hour? Or... No, it's going to be about five minutes. Okay. Because I'd hate to break his chair or something. I don't want to talk to Howard Stern anymore. I think I'm going to leave. So I'm going to get my crew and go. Let's go, y'all. Can you get us the Benji for me? Hey, you got your Benji. Hang on for one I love you, Benji. You've, talked, you've, been, you've been so close to Howard for so long. Don't leave, don't leave right now. Howard Stern. Howard Stern is hey, Gary, she wants to leave. a pussy. Right. Anna, please don't leave. Fuck you, Howard Stern. <laughs> Anna, wait, wait till, wait till Gary comes and talk to you. So that's the deal. You, we have a discussion. We talked about it on the phone. Right. We were really clear about it. You knew what you, you were said, walking. You said in you the studio. Were, you, you said knew what you were studio. walking. You know I didn't. You said in the studio. You said it was. And that's you, you said just like last time. So you knew what you were walking into. Like and you're going to come here and you're going to bully me out. You, and then you're last time you let us in the green room. I, to, I told you that there were no cameras in. You knew that coming into here. But Gary, you, that's the studio. That's the stu no. What's the difference with the green room? I and mean, the green room. They don't want cameras in the green room. If you guys are going to walk and that's the way you're going to operate, I feel very sad for you. But I was, I was what above do you mean you feel you're the one who's trying to restrict basically it's us my, using anybody else's It's our studio. Let me come to Anna Nicole's house and walk around and do whatever I want. It's I mean, our studio. What it comes down to is you're fine exploiting everybody else's We're not making world. you stand out. You stand outside. We're not making you stand you out. You made me he's stand out in the hallway. Yeah, he's making you stand in the hallway. You made me stand out in the hallway. No, you're more than welcome to come up. You, you didn't ask not me to come up. I want you to come in. He won't let you in without cameras. I want you to come in. You didn't ask me to come up. You taught all of us to stand out stand out there. I think that you'll find that that's just not true. To come in the green room. I would, he said, he I don't know. He, he did. He did. He did. Would you cameras. listen to Howard, please? Howard said that, that I asked you to come in. He said without the cameras. But what I don't get is. If you're going to walk, on. it's going to be ugly, but I apologize. Listen, I, I can only what, do what why, I can oh, do. You mean Howard's going to like trash oh, us because. Listen, he won't, you guys, you guys were scheduled for the show. You're scheduled for a show and you just walk out on it? What kind of. What is that? 
Come on. What's the huge deal with, with allowing it's the cameras a deal. in the green room? It's a deal. That, you want me to you be fine. You did not tell me anything about cameras, no cameras in a green room. We did not have the discussion. You said, can I bring cameras? And I said, don't bring the cameras. You said, you can't have cameras in the studio. And then you, know you said, this is, this is like, and then you gave me Don yeah. Buckwell. So, th so it's so important for you well, to go can, 60 more feet. Can you just have one person from CBS come down to talk to me? There's just nobody so from CBS here today. There's nobody here today that can, hand, that, that, that can deal with this. CBS is over on 52nd Street. Can I get somebody on the phone at least? Yeah, I've got my cell phone. Come on up, Heck. Okay. I know. It, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll probably I'll be like you, Howard's. Stern. I'll get your person. Yeah. What? You're going to get someone on the phone? I'm going to get Tom. Well, Tom, come out and talk to him. Anyway, we'll, we're going to talk down here for a minute. I'll be up in a second. Well, no, because I don't because I don't want you guys to leave. We're not going to leave. We won't leave. I give you my word, we will not leave before. I, I know, but I was before this, this camera. Before. But aside from everything else, why don't you come up? Because I don't think the building wants everyone hanging out in the middle of the lobby. Just come on up to the, These come on up to the like fourth. We're not really supposed to shoot. We're not supposed to be shooting down here. No one's supposed to be shooting. Oh, but. In the lobby. <laughs> sure. they, they just don't want us to But you're okay breaking the rule, but you won't let us. You know what? We'll I be out there, Gary. Whatever you guys do. Yeah, well, I, we're not going to leave. I, I tell you, not no, I'm leaving. Yeah! I need to talk to you right away. Uh-oh, what's the problem? How can I be horny? I just had sex last night. So Anna Nicole's in the lobby downstairs, and she's thinking about leaving. And she, they, unless she gets to bring her cameras into, up to the studio door, she's leaving. She's already up yelling at me for disrespecting door. her because her manager said, well, we're not coming in. Let us talk about it. And then, was that Howard Case? Yeah, and then she started yelling at me because I didn't invite her in. Look, here's the, here's the deal. I'm happy to have Anna Nicole Smith here. I'm happy to celebrate her weight loss and whatever else is going on in her life. Uh, despite what she may think of me, I'm not a bad person. They called us 900 times and said, can we bring a camera crew into your studio, into your green room, into your this room? And we said, we, we have a policy of not doing that. Well, they, were, they, they brought their cameras into the green room like a year and a half ago, and he can't believe the rules have changed. But they have. Why can't they bring the cameras into the green room? There's... I don't know. I, I mean, I thought they wanted to bring the camera in here. No. So bring it in the green room. Who cares? All right. I mean, do we care? I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I don't understand. We what, told them what? on the phone, no camera crew, and then they show up with the camera crew. And I'm then sure they, they never told her, and she's running around with this camera crew, and now she's hearing no for the first time. The, right. the policy that I got is no camera crews at all anymore, not even in the green room. Right. And th that is the policy. And we told them that on the phone. Uh -huh. But what, they love drama. That, yeah. And it's, it's not even Anna Nicole. Yeah. It's Howard K. Stern, her manager. And, you know, then the guy always insists on coming in with her. There's always a list of demands. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's creepy. The funny, the funny thing is, is this whole appearance is about her showing you how great she looks after you gave her a bunch of crap. And there's nothing that you can goof on her about because she looks tremendous. Right. And they're going to mess so it up. Does she look great? She looks great. Dude, if you let her up, you can't let that guy up. He gets to stay downstairs. Yeah, I, I mean, it's just, there's always like drama. And I think basically maybe the plan is to just come here and get footage and then leave and walk out or something. I mean, I don't know. Footage I never, of what? I'm starting to think that that might be the case. Yeah. Footage of what, though, if they never get in here? It's all this drama. Right. Plus, they don't have a release. Like, like they have Gary. And but they, they don't, because I'm not signing a release. Oh, okay. Well, tell them to come in the green room and just get her in here. And if okay. not, just tell them to go Yeah, home. then if that doesn't work, then yeah. she can go away. But I mean, at some point, you know, we can only take so much. It gives me a headache. If she wants to come in here and say hello and celebrate her weight loss, that's great. I'm happy to do it. <laughs> She's she, so funny. Yeah, I mean, what, it's a, it's <gasps> how a, could this be this complicated? And that dude, Howard K. Stern. Yeah, he's got to, I guess, make uh, something go on. So yeah. it seems like he's doing something. My luck is he's got my name. Yeah, bro, we're weighing her, right? No, I don't know. I just want to get her in here and if ask her a bunch a of questions. She's a beautiful woman. I know you don't care if she's a beautiful woman, but you know he'll what do you just. Mean be, I don't care. Let me handle that. this. She's very fragile. <laughs> throw her ass on a scale. She lost a lot of weight. Let me handle everything. All right. All right. Throw her ass on a scale. When I leave here, you can take over the show. We'll do your show. Uh, yeah, it's and a... nobody will ever come through those doors. Right. Well. He's so charming. I'm happy. Let's see what happens if she walks in the door or not. 
Well, I said it probably would wouldn't happen, but Anna Nicole could have give it its best shot. Anna Nicole could have a career now that she's thin. She could have something good going on, but I think the first thing she's got to do is get rid of the manager. Yeah, now she could have real management, and yeah. that's what she's got to convince herself of. Like maybe even get a show where. Or do some inspirational speaking about losing weight or make some money. And, and she could be doing guest shots on TV mm. shows yeah. and more runway stuff and modeling stuff. But when you got a bunch of people just causing problems every minute, it's not like they didn't have this discussion with us before they came in. We said, they said, can we bring cameras up to your station? And we said, no. And they said, okay. And they show up with yeah, the cameras if anyway. if that's all they want, then they should know not to come. Yeah, I'm willing to do a nice interview, sit down, talk, find out Men what's going fences. on. Yeah. I mean, what? Let's bring some healing to this. <laughs> I mean, right away they walk in. They're the only people who have problems. Doesn't that make you think that, like, like maybe it's you it's guys all, yeah. and not us? It can't be everybody's wrong. Mm -hmm. I'll take some phone calls to kill some time until they get in here. This is worse than the Israelis and the Palestinians, these negotiations. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just so silly. Hey, hey. Hey, yeah. give us, give us, no. uh, do you at least have a message for Benji? Yes, Benji, I love you. I think you're the sweetest guy on the show. You're the only one who didn't call me fat, and I love you. I don't want you to leave like this. This is not what we want. Well, I can't help it if Power Stern's an asshole, you know? And she's not talking about me. I'm not talking about this tell me how you feel. At least tell me how you feel. Well, you know, we're gonna go in we're gonna go in the great. car, we'll talk about it. Tell me how you feel in the road. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go in the about car. What? We're gonna talk what about just it. I, mean, I think it's uh, ridiculous. Stern won't let any cameras in. Stern will let you Stern will let you, 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 you camera me, but won't let my cameras camera him. I think that's ridiculous. No, we were in there in the studio. You're you're filming me. It's ridiculous. Two ways. It's ridiculous. We're gonna talk. Like I said, we're gonna talk in here. Oh, we're gonna talk in here. We're gonna talk in here. Entrance ball, baby. Oh. We're gonna talk in here. All right. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. Garrett, I got Casey. I got him. I got him. Yeah, I was trying to get him. Uh, you know, something go on. Gary, you come Gary, up, you Gary, come up. Gary, I'm sitting here listening to this on the radio right. and how Howard's trying to blame me for everything. You never said anything about green room. Or, I mean, come on. I said no cameras. But Howard's sitting there and saying that you can no cameras. I said no cameras. If you want to bring cameras up, you can bring them up. It's getting ridiculous. Okay. It is getting ridiculous. It is. It really is. If, if you want to come up, you guys can come up. Okay, let me talk to you. What's this? Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm out here. She's, uh, they were just pulling away, but um, Howard's going to talk to Anna and see if she wants to come in. They were literally just pulling away. Like, I knocked on the window, they stopped the car up in their ridiculous... So, they're now deciding what they want to do. Why don't you put me on the air? I'll let Howard... Gary Delabate on the phone. Hold on, that's my producer. See, there's Baba a Bowie. more problem. Baba Bowie. Hey, Gary. So I was standing on 57th Street outside of the uh, giant Humvee limo. It was just pulling away when I got here. I knocked on the door. They stopped. I spoke to Howard, who's still mad at us, but he's going to discuss it with Anna Nicole. So I'm standing outside this car right now. Unless you want me to hand the phone in and you want to talk to Anna. Discuss what, though? What are they discussing? They wanted to come on the show. It's, it seems to me they just want film of them getting rejected. He, he says that um, that we never told him he couldn't shoot in the green room, but we told him we did. You know, there was. There but was let no me camera. let me let me speak to let me speak to him. He's 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 okay. like a loony. Hold on a sec. Hold on, I have to knock on the door. Hmm. Howard would Howard would like to speak to you. Howard. You fascinate me. I got to tell you. Howard, you know. How 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 long are you going to be allowed to get away with undermining this girl's career? Oh, yeah, undermining this girl's career. You want to talk to her and see whose idea these things are, Howard? But I'm asking you, know, you something. All, you, you're sitting there on the radio trying to say that we were told we couldn't have cameras in the green room. That's that's Gary told me he said no. 
No, Gary did. Gary said studio, studio, studio. Let me ask you something, Howard. Howard, Howard let's say... on the radio saying, what's the big deal? Let's, let me ask you something. Mm-hmm. Why do you need to shoot video in my green room? What is it you hope to do with the video? Let's hear. Come on, Howard. With all this stuff that's going on with the FCC and you talking about them trying to restrict your speech... Fine. Why okay. Why you restrict Anna's speech? All right. I will not. I will not. I am not restricting Anna's speech. I'm inviting her on the show. She agreed to come on the show, celebrate her weight loss, and you're just you, you're just whining and making problems. What are you going to do with the video for my green room? Let's say you come up here and you videotape in the green room. What are you going to do with it? Let me hear the great. Let me hear the great plan of her manager, Howard K. Stern. First of all, Howard, I'm not her manager. What are you? I'm her lawyer. Okay. What do you okay, plan and, to do? You know, I know you like to just say bad things about me. Let's not get off track. I'm not saying bad stuff about you. Before, I'm saying what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? Okay, Howard, Howard, are you going to be apologizing to Anna? Is that what this is? What are you going to be are doing? I, I don't to have to. Uh, she should apologize to me. If it wasn't for me, she wouldn't be thin. Oh, Howard, that's, you're full of shit. Hey, no S word, pal. You're a lawyer. You know better. The, oh, I can't say S? You don't know oh, that you can't say S? Are you on the radio right now? Yeah, what do you think I'm on? What are, well, I, I, I'm, I'm, you're on the radio? You should tell me if I'm on the radio. You know you're on the radio. Like you're sitting there and you know exactly what's going on. No, I, no I, you don't know. You don't know. I'm doing a ra I'm in the middle of a radio show. You don't know I'm, I'm on the here. radio. Last and you hear Robin's voice show, and you don't know sir. you're on the radio. Sir, and the last thing I heard on the radio show mm -hmm. was you saying you're going to take phone calls to pass time. That's right. Right. So, here's your phone call. Then Gary calls. Then Gary comes in and says, Howard wants to talk to you. And all of a sudden, I'm on the radio. I'm supposed to just automatically know that? Uh, you are just a piece of work. Oh, uh, sure. So, tell me, so discuss with me the game plan here. You get the videotape in the green room. What can you do with it? Let me hear what the plan is. I'm going to let you videotape in my green Who room. Who are they taping for anyway? Yeah, what is what? the tape for? What do you mean, what is the tape for? Yeah, what is what the tape for? What do you think the tape for? I don't know. She I'm doesn't have an e-show anymore, as far as I know. Oh, we don't have an e-show, Robin. Is that right? That's just, oh, what I thought. Well, that, I thought. That's pretty funny because, you know, oh, we you're have so this is wacky. Some I'm just trying to I find out. Rated than any shows you've had this year. Oh, please. Hey, bro, tell yeah. me what you want to do with the videotape from my green room. Okay. We want, with this videotape from the green room, just to be able to use it for Anna's show. All right, look. You're, Is that okay? You, I have no idea what would happen in the green room that you would need for They'll my have show. They'll wasted footage, but that's their business, so let them do it. Right. Why don't you, instead of creating all of this drama, when, some, when you're invited on a show, you come in, you sit down, and you let her do the show. Oh, and your guy just... Now I don't go to phone. shows with video cameras. I don't know what it is that... But yeah, you don't have a reality show either you, you, that needs you, you, tons you, of footage. Uh, so I'm sure they want to sit there and talk to her about what she fe she's feeling like before she comes on the show and what it was like. All right, all right. So come up with the camera and let's see her. So tell me, are you still there? So discuss with me the game. Oh, I'm here. I'm listening. So are you coming I'm waiting, up? I'm waiting for you to talk. talk. Let me hear what the... No, you're listening to the radio now, and you're not I'm hearing me. Who are they taping my green room? Hello? No, just waiting for you to be done. Turn the radio off. What do you mean, what is the tape? Anna's saying she just she doesn't want to come up. Fine. Well, we knew that. We, we knew you guys were wasting our time. I, I think you just wanted all of this drama. It's ridiculous. Let me speak to Anna. But turn off the radio so you can hear me. It's a two-minute delay. You're on a two-minute delay. So silly. What am I bothering but for? But you, you, they're and looking Howard, for this. All they... A, a, a weenie head. I'm not being a weenie head. I said to Howard, Howard called us before you guys came down here, Anna, and said to us, we want to bring a camera crew. We said, please don't. And then he just shows up with one anyway. So, you know, we're not being yeah, weenie heads. We're really I not. Didn't know about I didn't know about first of all. Second of all... We asked, could we come in the green room, not into the studio? I know. This guy made us stand out in the hallway. Well, yeah, because they had a check with, with CBS. Because What's we, so wrong with us sitting in the green room? It's not a question of that. Howard checked ahead of time, and we asked him not to, so he just breaks the rules, and then everybody walks in and gets all crazy. Not in the green room, in the studio. All right. Why don't you come up with your camera in the green room? And then come into the studio and talk to us. Are you going to be apologetic, or are you going to be a jerk to me? I'm going to be Howard. 
He's going to tell you how wonderful you look when you see him because no, he thinks you look no, 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 no. apologetic. Or I am not going to. Wait a second. Let me let me explain something to you. The only person who is owed an apology is me. I if, screw you, Howard. If it wasn't you owed me an apology, you called me a big fat poker pig and tried to get me up on a scale. And who helped you lose weight? Pounds. Do you know how many women out there that you hurt? Does that get you off? Does that get you off to call people fat? Do you go home and jerk off? Do you want to hear my answer? Do you know how many people that you heard? She doesn't want to hear the answer. Do you want to hear the answer? Goodbye. Would you like to hear my answer? This is ridiculous. Goodbye. Let's go. Fuck you, Howard Stern. What did you yes, say? there's your answer. Let's go. Bye. Hey, the final words. Final words. Uh, yeah, leave Howard the car. Howard Stern's a jerk. He would not be apologetic to me. I said, mm. yes. You gotta go. I said, yes, I would come up if you would be apologetic. And he told me no. But why did you guys want to come if you were so angry? I mean, you, you guys called us. I, I wasn't angry. I wasn't angry. I was going to come up here, tell him all about my shows, all this and that. And, but, then, but, and then I was going to tell him, why did you call me fat? Right. And all that. So, That's but, all. But, but why are you That's upset, all. What are you upset about now? I don't understand why you're upset. Because of all this bullshit. Because I just asked him, are, are you going to be apologetic to me for calling me so fat and all that? And he goes, no. There's your guy, Gary. There's your guy. Nice to know you. So he can be a dickhead. He can stay his dickhead self. And please give that to Benji for me. Give me, give me a final message to Howard. Fuck you, Howard Stern. You'll never be a nice man. And I hope they take you up all the shows. And you're just pissed off because my show blew your fucking show away. And Benji? And Benji, I love you, baby. And you be the same sweetheart that you are. never intended to come up good. here. Yeah, this was all She's a liar. About. She's a big, about. fat liar. She never intended to come up on here. They wanted to get videotape and jerk me around. And she didn't go on a diet because she needed to lose weight. Yeah. And by the way, me calling her fat was the best thing ever happened to her. But all you the... didn't call her a big, fat, porker pig. You just asked her how much she weighed and tried to put her on a scale. She lost weight as a result of it. Now she's going to say you called me a big, fat, porker pig. But you were fat. And quite frankly, if it wasn't for me, because I'm not a kiss-ass... I helped you lose weight. And really what I was expecting today was for her to walk in and say, I want to apologize to you, Howard. You were honest with me. You were blunt. You know, my, when I was heavy, my, she doesn't know this, but I was a heavy person. And my mother and father pulled me in a room and said, you're fat. You're out of control. Lose weight. And it was the nicest thing anybody ever did for me. She wasn't being a weenie head. No. My mom wasn't being a weenie head, neither was my dad. It was the best thing ever happened to me. And well, I'll... not everybody needs that, Howard, but she you needed certainly it. didn't call her the name she claims you called her. She is obviously... You simply obviously, pointed out that she was heavy, or heavier than she was when she was a model. She's obviously a human being who lies. She lies about me. And despite what Howard K. Stern said there on the phone... Yeah, I'm leaving angry. The fact of the matter I'm is... That we did Howard have this discussion Stern with him ahead of time. No to the green room. No cameras. No to the any places. And then I'm a big fat person. And this girl shows up and goes, well, you're going to be nice. That, that wasn't I'm a prerequisite of the interview. The respect of being angry. She I said she y'all. wanted to come in here. I didn't book her. Right. Yes, I she will, called. baby. She is a disturbed young lady. He just called very me Very disturbed. disturbed. I'm very disturbed, he You said. say you want to come in here. Come in here. And speak. I don't owe you an apology. Do I, do I she could come in here and say anything yeah. she wanted. Now oh, yeah. all of a sudden you're supposed to do something. And no offense, she needs help. Week one of the Anna Nicole show had 4.1 million viewers. Week two had 3.4. Week three had 2.8 million viewers. Week four had 1.9 million viewers. You mean it's viewers. on the air? I didn't even know it. I don't even know that it's on the air. I, I, I was trying to ask, and I would have actually done a nice interview with her. But uh, she is a disturbed lady. Happy here. I mean, what he's is that? Hugely disturbed. So disturbed that disturbed after you guys hung up the phone, she was just crying. Good. No, I mean, oh, that's all for the camera. No, 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 no. She's not, she's not, she's not, she lost weight, but she didn't I'm get any crying. smarter. Dude, is there a camera on her? Oh, there's a of bunch of extras I'm on her, our cameras on her. Right, that's, that's what's she's going crying. on. No, no, she's crying. Cause I'm just, laughing. Please, Gary, please. And uh, and making up lies that I called her fat and this and that, and it didn't help her lose weight is ridiculous. I'm such a fucking liar. I'm laughing. I asked her to, you know, 
don't I'm laughing people who because people don't want anybody stupid. to say they're fat. <laughs> well, she called me and asked to be booked on this show. Absolutely. Why are you calling me and bothering me if I'm Howard such a skunk? She said me, to me, I said, I, me she's, I'm really upset she's crying. And I said, listen, you guys called us. We'd love to have you him. on. Well, I was going to come on, but then how, I asked Howard if he was going to apologize for calling me fat. And he said no. And then No. She, why that would I apologize? Part of the prerequisite. When did that When did that negotiation take place? In the green room? No. Yeah. It was Let never me discussed. tell you what the plan was. Come up here with a camera and walk out. It's, right. a, it's a game plan. Yeah. And I'm not going to be used that way. I'm so glad they didn't they never let her in here again. She's and off the now show. Now she can never be on. No. And I want to say on the air. There's trouble. I want that whole crew, that whole team is trouble. And this guy, Howard K. Stern, I've been saying I'm bad-mouthing him. I don't bad-mouth the guy. I just said I don't think your game plan is wise. Why do you keep asking to come on this show? Then you don't show up. Then you have prerequisites. Then it's where's my apology? It's like a lunatic asylum. I want nothing to do with Anna Nicole Smith. Howard K. Stern, and whoever else is associated with that. Here's the strangest part of it. i got enough trouble. But making it, the observation that someone is fat if they are is the same as saying you have a great figure when you do. It's yeah. just the truth. Yeah. You know, after Sorry we, you don't like the truth. I got down there and I said, hey, you guys can come up. And it's still not enough. Right. Then it's always something else. It's, it's like, yeah, well, we're insulted had now. consideration, I knew it was all about this whole argument. We're That's insulted. What you wanted. We're insulted now. And but from what? Because from, because they surprised us with a camera and we didn't want we didn't want one here. That's insult. That's called setting yourself up for being insulted. And I th I don't trust their motives. And you know what? Even if and I told them no cameras. But even if that mm -hmm. were the case, once he got here and we told them no cameras, why can't you just let it go? What are we giving them? A huge ton of promotion. Well, that's what she's here who for. Who cares? Be done. Never with enough her. of those. We, we should just houses. never because it just doesn't work out. Let's yeah. not be in each other's well, world. She's well, a very, we never called her. Don't yeah. call us. She's a very irrational woman. Yeah. Well, to say the least, if you watch that show, you can see there's this just a history of some bizarre behavior. But it's, you're trying to talk rationally to two irrational people. Yeah. Well, well. you're not in Anna world. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. Everything makes sense with that they're doing in Anna's world. Mm-hmm. How do you talk to a guy when he says, I said, listen, these are the rules. I don't believe you. I was like, well, how do I, I don't know what to say. And by the way, what's, we, we described those rules before they came in here. Yeah, but what's not to believe? But they're not good enough for him, those rules. Right. Because it's Anna. It's Anna Nicole. She's an important player. Well, yeah, she's Queen Anna. Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, I don't even want to be discussing this woman. She's a lunatic. That's it. I don't enough. even want to hear enough about it. Said. Oh, my God. I'm dealing with, with that lawyer. and the, I mean, what is that? Well, he definitely has a lawyer's personality. Mm. I better make a lot of money on the show because I can't imagine who would hire him after seeing him <laughs> on that show. Oh, my God. We don't believe your rules. You don't have to believe it. Those yeah, are the rules. Those are the rules. That's, That's what I said. It. You don't have to, to believe. believe it. But I don't believe the rules. I said, the rules are the rules. And he goes, well, you mm. can change them. And I said, no, I can't. And he wanted me to break them. I said, if you want me to be fired, I don't understand what, why you're doing that to me. Hey, Bobby. Yes. This is Bobby Trendy. He's on Anna's show. <laughs> oh, you Howard, understand sir. this, don't you, Bobby? Yeah, Bobby, explain this to me. How did Robin, Robin and Howard, first of all, they don't get it. They should be thanking you for the promotions that you give them on your uh, syndicated show. Everyone listens to your show. They were there to break rules as usual. They think the world evolves around them. Howard K. Stern thinks the world evolves around him. It does not. They came there to break rules. And when you come to somebody's house, you can't be making up your own rules. And if you said no cameras, there are no cameras allowed. And then notice we said, okay, bring your camera into the green room. Oh, we're insulted. You made us wait. Yeah, now there's another I mean, consideration. Yeah, I mean, uh, gee, you're so, so sorry you're so insulted. You know what? Go to Iraq Howard. and see what's going on there. Then you can really have something to whine yeah. about. I'm so glad that you didn't let them use you for your very expensive airtime. I mean, you were giving them free promotions, and when you gave me the promotion on the show by allowing me on your show, I was so grateful. I was on time. I was not demanding. I did what I was told to do. Because hey, I'm Bobby, very fortunate to be on your show. Bobby, you know the rules. If it says black tie dinner, you show up in a black tie. You don't walk in and say, I don't believe the rules. Yeah, and you know what? Those are the rules of success. If you had a red light, what do you do? You stop your car. You don't no, go through the red not if, light. Not if you're Anna Nicole. You go right yeah, through that red different, light. Yeah, a little different, Howard. Yeah, they sure are. Thanks, Bobby. And you know what? I think that you really helped her lose weight, and I would have thanked you for that. 
No, uh, yeah, exactly. I went in because ecology. You know ecology how many for what? Women, you hurt. You hurt nobody. I didn't hurt any women. I hurt you, obviously, yeah, you know, because everything hurts you. Air hurts you. You know, Anna is never allowed to speak. It's like Howard's always speaking upon her behalf. I would really like Anna to speak for once, and I think today was the first time I heard her speak for once, any type of an opinion. Exactly. And you know what? When Howard K. Stern made fun of me on the Anna Nicole show because of my acne I had before, my face is so lasered right now, it is as smooth as porcelain. And I want to say thank you, Howard K. Stern. Yeah, but notice Anna Nicole doesn't, uh, you know, get on him for calling you right, acne face. Right. Thank yeah, you, Bobby. She's, she's never allowed to speak. Right. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Howard. Thanks, Robin. Bye-bye. Bobby's a very polite fagler, and I like him. <laughs> I like that kid. Tell me what just happened. <sighs> I'm still so irritated. Uh, so Anna Nicole's manager came in. I told him that there were no cameras allowed. It wasn't good enough for him. He called Howard's agent. It wasn't good enough for him. Then he says, well, last time we were in here, we were allowed to bring cameras. And basically, I think they came up with the intention of never coming on the show, creating drama. And he tried to make me look like a fool. I think he went out of his way to make me look like a fool. And I swear to God, if I could ever figure out a way to return the favor, I'm going to do it because he's a jerk. What about Anna? Do you think she was... I don't think Anna knows what planet she's on. I swear to God. I don't think Anna has any awareness. I think she just sort of sits around, and when she sees drama, she reacts to it in an irrational way, and Howard doesn't do anything to set her straight. Well, Anna came up, and uh, unfortunately, there were people here that treated her wrong, and uh, she chose to leave, which I don't blame her for the way she was treated. And, uh, you know, a lot of people say that uh, they think it's just BS what's between Anna and me and that she's just, you know, her feelings aren't real. But uh, she gave me a shirt. I didn't get to see her, but they kept us separated, but she left me a shirt. And you don't give a shirt to someone unless you really love them. At least I don't think you do. So I think things are real between Anna and I, and I think things, there will be more to this story. Anna knows how I feel, and I know how you feel, Anna.